number five. Sometimes I receive a project that immediately makes me say, oh yeah, that's going in this week's video. Step into history and relive the monumental events of D-Day in an immersive and educational virtual reality experience. The D-Day VR Museum takes you on a compelling journey back to June 6, 1944, when Allied forces launched the largest amphibious assault in history. The project features a vast collection of authentic World War II artifacts like weapons, uniforms, vehicles, and more. Engage with interactive exhibits and witness some of the most iconic locations of that fateful day. And it's all created in Gato 4. You can wishlist it right now on Steam. Number 4. Operation Steel is a roguelike shoot 'em up rendered in beautiful hand drawn art. Blow up loads of enemies, destroy huge bosses, find weapons, and upgrade your loadout between levels. Combat the Electric Legion across 20 plus procedurally generated levels with branching paths. The hand drawn art brings a lot of character to the game, and the reviews are currently giving it a very positive rating on Steam. If you're into fast paced shoot 'em ups, then check out Operation Steel. This week's video is sponsored by Zenva. Zenva Academy offers easy to follow beginner and intermediate courses for game development with Gato 4, including a fantastic free introductory course that you can check out right now that covers all the basics to help you get started. As a paid Zenva member, you get professional video tutorials, written lessons, and interactive quizzes. You'll work on real projects, building games in different genres like open world, RPGs, and first person shooters. And if you have interests beyond the Gato engine, they have courses on Python, Unity, Unreal, and other tools. A subscription includes a seven day free trial and the first 50 subscribers can use my link in the description to get an extra 20% off the first year. Number three. Truffle is a minimalist puzzle maze game where touching the walls, unfortunately, is gonna kill you instantly. Described as a game of high difficulty that tests your patience and dexterity, you'll need to collect the mushroom at the end of each level to win. The game features 20 core levels to complete, six bonus levels to unlock, and 80 watching eyes to collect. Truffle was also solo developed, which makes it even more inspiring and is already getting positive reviews on Steam. And it's also completely free, so you can check it out right now. Number two. After an accident sends you swerving off the highway, you find yourself in a junkyard. Your car is damaged, but thankfully, you might be able to find the parts you need to repair it. You just need to avoid the dangerous mechanical monstrosities that want you to leave, gather fuel, and find parts as you evade grotesque mechanical human creatures in an effort to survive the night. The game uses a PlayStation graphical style and borrows from other atmospheric horror games. There's also this car with a mouth that tries to eat you. You have to check it out for yourself. And before we get to our number one spot, congrats to last week's winner, Lucid. Be sure to vote for your favorite to have them featured in our new Gato Game of the Awards at the end of the year. And number one. I'm always a fan of card games, especially ones that bring creativity and replayability. Deal of the Dead Final Cut is a solitaire style survival horror card game rendered in a unique hand-drawn art style. Fight your way through randomly shuffled decks of cards and escape from a zombie-infested city set in a post-apocalyptic world. There's a short tutorial and campaign to help introduce gameplay features, and once you beat the campaign, you'll unlock free play, which allows you to customize your experience to truly challenge yourself. With 200 card variations and rounds lasting under five minutes, you'll have tons of replayability as you battle the undead.